If you're using the wrong equipment and you're missing the best part of the crab meat, you're doing it all wrong. I see way too many people missing the crucial part of the, of the crab. That's right in the middle here. People get to the body, they see all the organ meat and the crab butter. They're thinking that this is the wrong meat. I shouldn't even be in here. But really, underneath all that is the best part of the whole crab. One thing people do wrong when uh, eating crab at home is using a large hammer to crack open the crab, wrong, or using a large fork to pick the meat out of the crab, also wrong. But really, all you need is a mallet and a small little fork. So don't grab your mallet and just start whacking away at the legs and claws, because you're just gonna break up the shell into tiny little bits and you'll get little pieces of shell in your meat. Now I'm gonna show you the right way to cook and eat crab at home. When going shopping for your pre-cooked Dungeness crab, make sure you get a crab that feels heavy, like one and a half to two pounds. It's got nice bright orange color, and it, make sure it also has all its claws and legs. Try and stay away from crabs that have barnacles or black spots on them. To reheat it, make sure you take it out of your refrigerator and let it come up to room temperature, and then steam it for about seven or eight minutes. If you don't have a steaming pot, you could use a pot big enough to hold the crab and just put a little bit of water underneath it and a lid on top. Make sure the crab is not immersed, but you have enough water to create a steaming process. So now you're ready to eat the crab. There are only two tools you need to enjoy Dungeness crab. A cracker and an oyster fork. Where do we begin? I like to begin right at the best part, the body. You want to remove the shell, clean up the organs, break away the legs from the body, and then break it in half. In the body, you will see little cavities of where the meat lives. It's like the cave of the crab. You use the oyster fork and just pick out the meat. You see yellow liquid inside the crab? That's crab butter. Don't be afraid of it. It's got a little texture thing to it, but it's delicious. After you've gotten all the meat out of the body, you want to go into the legs. So take your crab cracker, break open the shell a little bit, and then just pick out the meat from the shell. A big part of the crab experience is to actually get into the claws because the body is really easy to get to the meat. The legs and claws are a little bit more of a challenge. You need to use the tools and dig in and play, but it's definitely well worth it. If you've done all these things right and you got your hands dirty, you're going to get the most out of your Dungeness crab. <laughs>